hell are you doing here? Get out of my car! Wow, Blake, you think I had a gun or something. Tori, I almost crashed the car. Will you relax? I didn't mean to scare you. That's exactly what you meant to do. Pop it up at the back seat like some deranged jack-in-the-box. Look, I just wanted to talk to you alone, and I knew you'd never agree to it. So I, I had to trick you. Are you telling me you made that phone call about my mother? Yeah. She's not in the hospital? No, she's not, but I knew that was the only way I could get you to leave the cabin. I thought my mother was dying, Tori. I specifically told you that Holly said not to make a big deal oh out of God, it. You are so sick. You know what? You don't try anything, Tori. And Ross is one click away on that speed dial. Like, why do you always think the worst of me? I just want to talk to you. Say whatever it is and get the hell out of here. Fine. You won. What does that mean? I know that you and Ross are getting married. I saw the wedding invitations. I, I guess seeing your names engraved like that just made it real for me. Ross loves you and there's nothing that I can do about that. That's it? I just want you to promise me that you're going to make him happy. You don't believe me? No. It's the truth. I won. You won. What does that mean, Tori? What does that mean to you, exactly? You're really bright, woman, Blake. I don't think you need a diagram. Okay, <sighs> fine, fine. It means that I'm not going to be bothering you and Ross again. You're leaving town? You know, there's not really much out here. You think you could take me to the train station? Does that mean you're not leaving Springfield, Tori? What does it mean? You won't be seeing me anymore, so why does it matter? Ross is yours. Till death do you part. Train station. Oh, hey, how about that? Oh, wow. Uh, nice, smooth run. How about my landing, Kev? Yep. It's perfect. My turn, my turn. Okay. It's perfect. See, I'm getting better. What's the matter? I'm happy. She's happy. Girls. I am. I'm happy. I've just been mm. so afraid that you weren't going to get better. How it was going to affect you emotionally because you're mm. always so strong. He's fearless. I am. Still am. Just no need to take any unnecessary risks. I know, I know, okay? I know. But so far, so good, right, Kev? What do you say? It's my turn now. It's your turn. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's fly. Let's hit the slopes, man. I don't know what went on outside, but Kevin's exhausted. He didn't even complain about taking a bath. <laughs> uh, Danny and Kevin were just sledding and sledding away. I was exhausted just watching them. Wait, wait, Danny, Danny, Danny sledding? Yeah, yeah, it, it's fine. He wanted to test himself, and I guess I was wrong to try to stop him from doing it, because God knows he's got the energy for all of us. <laughs> Where is he? Where do you think he is? He's outside on your son's sled. Still? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Gus is out there, too. <clears throat> well, if, he, if he's after Danny, he's going to have to catch him, and my money's on Danny. <laughs> Michelle, thanks for being so good about Gus showing up like he did. I mean, I know it can be uncomfortable for you after what happened between me and Rick. Hey, you and Rick both made the decision to split together. And as long as you both are okay, I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> tell you, when I saw him standing out there, <laughs> I thought this whole thing was going to be a huge disaster. But, um, he's been really, really good. And actually, I'm glad that he showed up. Where are you going to go? I'm going to tell him. <laughs> I'm going back out there. Okay, bye. That girl's sick of something.
because I got a couple more questions about that uh, woman you talked with on the phone. Do you have any idea how old this woman was? You couldn't tell? Okay, I suppose she didn't leave a number where she could be reached, did she? No, I didn't think so. Okay, that's... Are there any more messages? All right. Thank you so much. That didn't sound like a very productive call. It wasn't. Ross, is there something wrong? Michelle, I'm not sure. I don't want to pry, but it seems like something serious might be going on. Did you ever meet Tori Granger? She used to be one of my law students for a brief period. She was my legal assistant. Yeah, sure. I, um, she was at the house for Marina's welcome home party, right? Oh, that's right, yes. Well, Ms. Granger has been harassing Blake and me. What? How? Oh, by calling us and following us to all kinds of places. I thought I had convinced her to leave town, but uh, all signs indicate that is not the case. And my secretary, a little earlier, got a call from some woman. Some woman who wanted to know where I was and how I could be reached. And you think it was Tori? Yes, I do. That's creepy. Yeah. I can't shake the feeling that uh, Tori's just biding her time and waiting to pounce on us once again. Ross, if Tori is really harassing you and Blake like this, I think that you should you should talk to Frank. Well, we have talked to the police, but ironically, there's nothing that they can do until Tori actually commits a crime. Ms. Granger's turned out to be a, a pretty troubled young lady, and she needs to be handled carefully and wisely, and I haven't done that. What do you mean? I just haven't treated Tori properly. Well, I doubt that that's true. But if she's as unstable as uh, you're telling me she is, she should get some help. Excuse me one second. I just have to see about Robbie. What are you doing back so soon? There's nothing wrong with my mother. What do you mean that I don't understand? Tori disguised herself as my mother's personal assistant, and Tori made the phone call. How do you know that? She told me. She popped up in the back seat of my car. What? Oh, yeah, apparently the phone call was just a ruse for a little quality private time. I don't understand how she could do that after I told her to get out of town. You told her to get out of town? Yeah. When? After that incident at company where she fell down and then accused you of pushing her, I insisted that we meet and that we talk. <sighs> I don't believe this. Believe what? You saw that woman, you talked to that woman, and you didn't say a word about it to me? What the hell is going on here, Ross? After everything that head case has put us through, put our children through for... I can't... Ross, you had the nerve to sit down with her? You be quiet. She's trying to get Robbie to sleep. Well, there's nothing like a little secret down and dirty meeting with Tori Granger. I did what I thought was best. Your standards are slipping. Because I was desperate. For what? To get her out of town, to put an end to this madness. And I thought if I spoke to her alone and directly, I would get through to her, and I did. She listened. She said that she was leaving town. And then she hijacked my car, stowed away in the back seat, 
I don't call that leaving town, Ross. Maybe in Tori's mind, she thought this was the only way she could be alone with you and let you know that it was over, you had won, and to say goodbye. Well, that's what she said. Oh. And all she wanted was for me to drive her to a train station. I, I think she's leaving, Blake. Yeah, well, she said she was leaving before, and she didn't. And the only reason I'm even remotely thinking she might have is this time is because I saw her face through the car window as Well, then maybe you should give her the benefit the of the doubt, don't you think? No, I don't. I don't. But think about it. There's no point for her to stay in Springfield anymore. She can't come between us. I love you too much for that to happen. And I made that very clear to her. And I think she finally understands it. I want to believe you. Do. Because when I saw her face after I... I told her that I would never leave you to be with her. All that maniacal confidence had just left her. She's beaten. I think it's done. Corey's out of our lives forever. It's strange it's so quiet with all these kids here. It's not strange, it's nice. They're all asleep. Well, Clarissa and, and Zach and Jude are, but the boys aren't. They're, they're not even in their room. What are you talking about? I put them to bed before you even got here. You don't know where they are? Maybe they got up, got dressed, and sneaked out to go sledding again. They wouldn't do that without our permission. Besides, like we hear them. Like. Take it easy, would you? Ross, what if Tori lied about leaving town? Come on, don't do this, please. Ross, what if she lied and she took our boys again? Our Kevin? boys. Come on, Jason, you guys. Are you guys over. In here? Kevin. Okay, if you're hiding, this is not funny. All right, I'm going to go outside. Let's see if they are. Let's see if there are any footprints out there. Ah! Oh! <laughs> that was not funny. That was not funny. Like? This is not a game, okay? Don't ever do that to Mommy again. Do you promise me? You guys, you didn't mean that, did you? You're no. Joking around, right? You didn't mean to scare her on purpose, did you? No. I'm sorry, Mom. I know. Okay, all right. I'm going to forgive you on one, one condition. You go straight to bed, right? You go straight to bed. I, I love you. I love you. I love you. Mm. Okay, go. In it. You know, Ross, maybe we need to put bells on them or homing devices or something. Come here. They're fine. They're gonna be all right. It's nothing to worry about. Especially Tori. She's gone. This is nice. Yeah. We're all alone. Gus and Harley and Danny and Michelle, everyone's gone. It's mm -hmm. good. Kids have begged for their last glass of water. Whatever will we do to pass the time? <laughs> we could continue planning our wedding. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. I think I may have found the perfect place. Yeah? Where? The garden behind St. Michael's. It's big, it is beautiful, and I know our first wedding was near perfection, but uh, I think that we could have something just as meaningful, and we'd be outdoors with flowers just everywhere, and we could make it a celebration of our life together. I love it. I think it's great. Good. I just hope that we have a beautiful day with all our friends and families there smiling, and nothing goes wrong. Nothing will go wrong. Mm -hmm. 
like Tori has left town and she's out of our lives, okay? What was that? I believe the earth moved. All right, what was that? Yeah, I just think everything's Tori. She's like the boogeyman, she's everywhere. Only if you let her be. Yeah, well, she spends a few minutes with my car alone and then my brakes fail. She follows us down to San Cristobal. She abducted our children. I mean, what's a little trip down I-20, you know? Just... Like, shh. You're at the Bauer cabin, you know? When you're at the Bauer cabin, you're out in the country, so I'm putting my money on, uh, raccoon, maybe? No. It sounds bigger than that. A bear? Ross. Pterodactyl? I'm kidding. I'll go check it out. So why do I feel like one of those stupid girls in those horror movies that sends their boyfriend out into the dark to check on something and then... And then he gets killed. Don't say things like that. I'll be right back. It's more scared of us than more scared of it. All right, next thing you know, you're going to try to convince me it's nothing more than a big cricket. A big cricket? You're going to allow a big cricket to ruin our evening? Okay, maybe you are. <laughs> oh. You know the only thing I hear right now? What? The beating of your heart. It's fear. Mm. Your skin against mine, it's all tingly. Mm, goosebumps. <laughs> Blake, I don't care about what's out there. I care about what's in here. And I'm going to make you forget that noise. Mm. What noise, huh? There you go. Turn around this way. Mm. All right. <laughs> Look right over there, all right? Didn't think I could still do this, did you? No. <laughs> oh, my God! The door shut! Could have been killed. I know, but you weren't. Come on now, get up. Here we go. Come on, we're gonna get inside. All right, watch the step. Obviously, it's getting warmer. No, it's not. It's not. Those things just don't fall. You know, Ed used to have to hose them down. And you think it has something to do with Tori? You think I'm crazy, right? No, I don't. I think you're scared. And this is my fault. I'm gonna make you feel safe at home, all right? I'm gonna take you home. I wanna go home. Let's go home. Well, we have everything. Oh, I am... I can't believe the kids didn't wake up when you transferred them into the car. All right. <clears throat> We're all locked up. Yeah. 
Let's get our family home. <sighs> yeah, home. I want to be safe and sound. You will never be safe, Blake. And this is far from over.